Welcome to the Dropship Podcast, where you'll learn how to build and grow a high-ticket dropshipping business and hear stories from successful e-commerce entrepreneurs. Let's kick this thing off. Hey, welcome to the Dropship Podcast. Once again, we're on video. If you haven't noticed, this is uh, we're live in person and this is on video. So Spotify or YouTube, you can find us on video if you want to see our uh, beautiful faces that are definitely meant for uh, your podcast. Oh, listening. yeah. But right. yeah, come check us out. You can see that we're representing Paramount Pet Health. ParamountPetHealth.com is the sponsor today, I believe. Nice. <laughs> good niche, bad niche. Again. Yeah. Another one. A good niche, bad niche uh, commercial cleaning. I didn't really know what to name this one, mm. but I have a couple sites that inspired this. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And uh, when you think commercial cleaning before I showed you, where were you going? Um, <laughs> My mind actually went straight to like a cloths and mops and stuff but uh, that's not what we're talking about here is because those are not high ticket products when i first said it it brought me back to our live event so day one we're on the 50th floor of the tallest building in minneapolis yeah and sweet these dudes come by and they're cleaning the windows <laughs> and right, they just yeah. like lower by in a basket <laughs> yeah uh and everyone you know it's fascinating right they're 50 floors up they're yeah. clearly tethered in a little basket but yeah, they're just yeah. sitting there chilling they're on their phones and stuff yeah, like yeah, yeah. kind of wild yeah, to be up there funny. and it was <laughs> unbelievably smoky and hot and mm. like it couldn't have been a pleasant experience to be up there no sir it was for us though in the building uh we should have some live event stuff coming out somewhere around when this episode comes out so uh hopefully you can yeah. see some of that uh incredible experience uh but for good niche bad niche, bleh, bad niche commercial cleaning i wanted to go towards like uh walk behind scrubbers so i i, I uh i pulled up sweep scrub.com i have no idea who owns this it looks uh you know very much like a drop shipping site mm. but there are commercial products that maybe you saw you know when i think of this i think of high school and i think of our janitor you know slowly pushing one of these yeah, down the hallway yeah, yeah. or you know if you go to a grocery store that's about to close there's likely somebody rolling by on one of these mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or even when i worked at a walmart distribution center we had a, a zamboni for the concrete floor yeah. that would clean yeah, the floors yeah. as we went yeah. by and so that's the type of things I'm thinking of when I look at this. And I'm going to be dead honest, right out of the gates, I don't know anyone doing this, and I fucking love this niche. And you know what I love about you saying that? Is all day long from the outside, outside of what we do in our program and everything, we hear people all the time, oh, you can't do drops, you mean it's too competitive, there's no niches left that nobody's doing, and oh, oh, it doesn't work, blah, blah. Fucking bullshit, man. Like, literally, we've done, recorded the one we did before, of these i don't know anyone doing that either that i can think of mm. and this is another one nobody's doing it massive opportunity uh high ticket products and yeah it's once again not the sexy stuff it's not infrared saunas or red light therapy or blah 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 but like get in there someone get get in there literally if you're listening to this and you're looking for a niche and you're going well i can't get started until i know what products i'm gonna sell this is your episode. <laughs> and if you're on Spotify or YouTube, you probably saw up on the screen, we're kind of looking at some of these. The price points are insane. Yeah. Like, I often talk to people. We say in our course, $800 plus. That's where we reference high ticket. And we talk, you know, zero to 200, low ticket, don't be there. 200, 800, you'll make a lot of sales and make very little profit. That's kind of no man's land. Mm -hmm. 800 plus. And every time you say 800 plus on a podcast, I say, yeah, can we go higher, right? Yeah. It is way fun to sell 3,000, $5,000 items. That adds up quick, like really quick. You can get to, you know, $100,000 days just by selling $5,000, $8,000 products. And the margin on them is probably the same as your margin on your $1,000 product or your $500 yeah. product or your $100 product. But you know, in 3D printers, I sold a 3D printer that was five grand, and I made 1250 every time I sold one. That's really fun. Like yeah. that's that's very fun, that's and that's a lot nice. of money to go acquire a customer. And these products appear to be the same. In fact, we saw some that were thirty thousand dollars. Like that's wild to me. Mm. Uh, thinking mm. about making selling one item at thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And there's a lot of them, and there's so many different machines for cleaning things. Or walls or floors or whatever. You just don't can't even think of if you're not in that space. Like there's just all sorts of stuff. And they're all high ticket. And the other thing for a lot of these machines, having you know, used some of them long ago in my past life, is that a lot of them have service parts, like the pads and the replaceable bits and all this sort of thing. And once again, there's there's definitely a recurring revenue stream in this sort of business, for sure. Yeah, I, I don't have much to say other than somebody needs to jump all over this. This is an opportunity just waiting for somebody to take advantage of it. Um, 
it doesn't like we're looking at sweep scrub, which which appears like they're doing a good job following a lot of the tenants that we teach. But you know, there's a lot of things missing from this website. I think I could hop inside of this website and, absolutely and increase their revenue rather quickly, just making some tweaks. But it's a good start. Like it's a it's a good start. It's a very interesting, albeit fucking boring niche. You know, like <laughs> I, I'm not sure I would want to talk to these people all day. Um, but somebody does. Somebody wants to serve these people, and and that's exactly who should be jumping all over this. I think I'd be okay with it. I think I'd be okay with it. You know, I mean, once again, the thing I like about B two B niches, and some people might look at some of these machines and go, "Well, wouldn't they be be rather technical the customer service, and would the people know like what to do with them and all that sort of thing?" Which sometimes can be a bit of a hassle when you're on the B two C side and you have more technical products, you know, electrical products or something like that. Like a lot of people call up and they'll have really specific, or, or just not even know what they're talking about. Do you know what I mean? They don't know how to use the product, which can give you more customer service on the back end, which is not necessarily a problem. But you really got to like it to be the person that's going to working there whereas these sort of ones like you know i mean if somebody's you know buying these products you know and 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 it's for a business these are always for businesses like they're in the they're they're you know somebody who's been a janitor in their previous in in their life now they're a manager or they're somebody who owns a cleaning business that goes around doing this for other businesses they know how to use the product right i i don't think the customer service would actually be as difficult as 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 or as, as as involved as it might be for, um, you know, if you were selling a, a similar type of product with a lot of different specifications and stuff to retail customers, mm. I actually think it's probably you'll find there's there's a little bit like they're going to know what they're looking for, or they're just going to be replacing an old machine or something like that. They know what it needs to do, um, they know what specification they're looking for often. And um, so I actually think there's I, – I find B2B sales way easier often than um, retail sales so, personally. Uh, if our producer wants to pull up the other one, if you're watching on video, you can see this. Buy Janitorial Direct is another one where I kind of crowdsource some ideas uh, to one point. So, like, I think you're right on the customer there. The one thing I think people don't often think about in B2B is net terms. And it can mm. be a little scary thinking that you're going to sell something and, you know, wait to recoup those costs. So if you are getting into a B2B industry, I would suggest you have net terms with your supplier so that you can extend net terms to your customers. Um, so on a previous episode, I believe the hand dryer episode, we found mm. a website that made us explore how to expand this. And I think by janitorial direct is a good example. I would not choose this domain personally. It's just not super. <laughs> no, no memorable. Uh, yep. But I think you could expand here or just, you know, fracture one of these little pieces off to make your own niche. So like they have carpet and tile, they have disaster restoration, which very much interests me. Um, I've done a little bit of research into that. There are some really cool products in there that are at a great price point. Uh, janitorial and maintenance products, truck mount systems. Um, there is a lot that kind of falls into one big category. If you want to be a giant website, mm. Or I think you could kind of fracture off some of it. I think you could just do the carpet and tile. I think you could just do the disaster restoration and you would have enough products to make a decent website. And at, at any point, so long as you didn't have disaster restoration direct, you could then expand into further, but you could start small. Yeah. And look what they're leading the site with on that terrible slider. By the way, folks, don't have sliders on your website homepage. Uh, bundles. Bundles. That's that's the first thing. Package, Package deals. deals, right? One and done bundle solutions. So you know what they're selling a lot of if they're leading with that? I mean, they probably want to sell them, but I bet you they're selling these bundles. Um, you know, like, it makes sense. You're setting up a cleaning business or you're setting... You look know, at the prices on that too. Yeah, look at that. Like $16,000 package, $8,000 yeah. package. Yeah, nice. So nice. I mean, that, that gets me excited when I see those sort of numbers. Oh, they got them all too, right? A floor care package. Yeah. These guys are selling Pressure this stuff washer for sure. Packages. Like for the customer, it's a no-brainer, right? It's an absolute no-brainer. Like, you know, get the yeah, get the complete deal. Set up a set up a small business with some of this stuff. You know what I mean? Mm. Like a lot of people are looking to do that right now. Like, can I just set up a small business? I can pack this stuff in the back of my truck or a van or something and go around cleaning people's places. Like, you can help those people. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, where, where do you land on this? What, what, are you giving this a thumbs up or a thumbs down? 
Uh, I, I think I'm definitely giving this one a thumbs up. There's a lot to like. No one's doing it. No one that we know is doing it. Like I say, I mean, there, there's an opportunity right here for the right person. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm i not going to do it, but somebody needs to do this. I fell in love with this when I researched it. So if this is you, jump all over this one. Thanks for listening to the Dropship Podcast. You can find all the show notes for this episode at dropshippodcast.com. And if you're ready to take the next step in your dropshipping journey, we invite you to join us inside Dropship Breakthrough, where John and I will walk you through step-by-step in starting your own high-ticket dropshipping e-commerce business. But that's not all. Dropship Breakthrough will also teach you everything you'll need to know to grow your business and take it to the next level. So head over to dropshipbreakthrough.com and sign up for our free training that will help you take the first steps towards building and growing your own profitable high-ticket dropshipping business.